Welcome to Rutgers, and I am the Associate Chair of the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. We are one of the science, natural science departments in uh, the School of Arts and Sciences, and we are housed uh, in two buildings. Our classrooms labs are in the lab, right labs on Bush campus, and we also run a geology museum on College Ave campus. Uh, unlike most of the science departments in SAS, we are very small. We are the smallest science department. We have only 33 majors and 18 minors. So we are a close-knit family where everyone knows everyone else. So I'm here to uh, introduce you to our department, uh, what we do, who we are, and then I will uh, cover what majors we offer and what courses you can take, etc. Okay, so who we are. We are a very small department, as I said, and uh, we have a small classes. We have 22 professors. And uh, here are the leadership of the department, the chair, uh, myself, a graduate director and undergrad director. Uh, the undergrad director, Professor Roy Schlisch and I together uh, help the undergrad students. We help you uh, select courses and navigate uh, the requirements and uh, research opportunities. And a uh, um, lot of information are uh, on our website. And so please go there and visit our website. And there are especially information for undergrad students. And here is a photo of Professor Wright uh, just came back with our grad students. Uh, they just came back from uh, a research cruise off the southern tip of Argentina. Okay. Despite being small, we have a world-class faculty and you know, we have three National Academy members. And here are some examples of what our faculty do. Uh, here is Professor Juliana Gross. Uh, hunting for meteorites in Antarctica because that meteorite contains uh, the signals of the beginning of the solar system. And Professor Birmingham studies lunar rocks brought back by the Apollo missions to understanding the evolution of the early solar system. And Professor Millers and Sherelle and Wright, etc., they drill deep into the ocean floor to retrieve the sediments, the layers of sediments that record the phytoplanktons, that record the condition of the ocean and the climate in the past. And a professor of, of Kowski, E. and Cobb, uh, dig deep into the origins of life through laboratory and field experiments, and they uh, decipher how life evolved, how the life and minerals evolved together. Professor Oja was actually the one who discovered the signals or evidence of water on Mars. He was a graduate student at that time, and he noticed those dark streaks of um, lines. Those are actually melting ice and flowing down with mud down the walls of the volcano, uh, of the craters. And the Professor uh, Fibo and Lepre are, are in Africa, the Rift Valley, looking at the sediments and trying to decipher what was the early human uh, environment like where our species evolved. So these here are just some examples. We also have a small but vibrant student body. Our undergraduate students have a geology club and they organize fun trips and outings and they invite alums to come in to talk about uh, life after graduation, the jobs they do, how they like it, etc. And so we also have very small classrooms because we're a small department. Our classrooms are always under 15 students, so we can be uh, interactive and hands-on. Here is students acting out how they receive, uh, they're like a rover on Mars, receive instructions from Houston how to move left and right. And we have our own geology museums. We can study rock samples and fossils right on campus. And our, grad, our undergrad students are very deeply involved in research. Uh, they are part of the discovery process in the faculty labs. And here is Sophie in a cyber intern uh, at NASA. 
And uh, most of our classes uh, have a outdoor components, a field components. We go out there, we might map rocks and we map the geology and, and then trying to figure out the story behind it. Why do rocks look like this? What made them this way? And obviously we all love the great outdoors and this profession allows us to be out uh, over the ocean, uh, in Iceland, in rocks. And so uh, because it's nature that uh, at the first place inspired us to follow a career path that studies nature. So we are outdoor lovers, but we also are nerds who love sciences. Uh, but we all had a hard time uh, choosing just one, uh, physics or chemistry or biology, uh, because we like them all. And earth science is a perfect place to integrate them because the earth is a system, a complex system and that has physics, chemistry, biology all working together. You really can't separate them. Uh, so earth science is a place we get to exercise all of them. We'll never get bored. And uh, here's a, a simulation of a, 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 a code written by our grad students uh, to simulate the impact crater when the meteorite hits the earth and melts the rocks and make the fluid like so it flows and form those beautiful creatures with its characteristic structure. And I myself write codes all the time because I my job is to understand the fluid's motion uh, in the subsurface. So we write codes to simulate the fluid flow. Okay, so that was um, about who we are, what we do, and now I'm going to talk a little bit about the majors uh, we offer, the programs we offer. We offer four majors, uh, major options. We tailor those options to meet uh, individual students' interests and the strengths. The first option, the classical, uh, science, classical geological sciences option, is the classic option in all universities with earth science uh, programs. And that gives you the foundation of the earth, uh, the physics, the chemistry, the biology of the earth from day one uh, of earth formation. And uh, graduate students, uh, students graduate uh, with this degree, go to all sorts of services, uh, the environmental industry, the engineering, oil, gas, and graduate school, and, uh, um, and etc. The second option, environmental geology, is tailored to meet a very large job market out there, which is um, taking care of our water and the soils and aquifers. This is uh, the environmental consulting industry. And our um, third option is planetary science option. And this is designed for, uh, for students who want to pursue academic uh, or research career. Um, students go to grad school and, uh, um, and government uh, labs, et cetera. And the last option, the general option, is a uh, Bachelor of Arts degree. And it has less uh, foundational science requirements. And this is designed for students who want to be a um, science teacher, for example, uh, a science journalist, and um, uh, science policy um, makers, science um, law school, for example, and medical school, for example. So um, those are the four major options. And we also have two minor options. One is earth and planetary sciences. You take six EPS courses. Um, you can choose any of those courses. And uh, the, the uh, astrobiology is a joint program with the physics department. This is about uh, the origin of life and, uh, and the universe. And so if you have a physics major, and this is a great minor for you to take. Well, next, uh, what courses you should take when you first come in? Our uh, list here are uh, three uh, categories of courses. They're all science courses uh, counting for the science requirement of SAS. So even though you don't major in earth and planetary science, you can take any of those courses that would count toward your science requirements. Uh, but those courses will give you a window to the profession. What are the ideas we talk about and what are the jobs we do later? Okay, so uh, any of the course would give you a window, but if you are considering a major or minor in earth and planetary science, you should take the introductory geology. 
uh, which is a required course for major and minors, and which is also uh, determining if you can be a major or minor because you need to get a grade of C or higher in order to declare major and minor. You can declare major or minor um, anytime after you take this class, after you finish this class, after the same first semester, for example, as freshman, sophomore, or junior years. And all the courses here uh, are listed in the course catalog. When you go in there, look for New Brunswick campus, undergraduate studies. Uh, 460 is the code for, for our department for geological sciences. And the 01 of the course number, that stands for School of Arts and Sciences. And this is geological sciences or earth planetary sciences. And this is our course number. And lastly, what do you do with a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts degrees in Earth and Planetary Sciences? Here's a break up of where our grads have gone to after graduation. The environmental services, environmental consulting firms and the government regulatory agencies, they are the largest employer of our students. Um, these are the, some, some pictures of our students out there working uh, on water, soil, aquifer quality, cleaning them up, protecting them, or monitoring them, et cetera. And uh, the second largest is our uh, oil and gas and mining industry. And the third is federal government plus the, uh, the state and, uh, and the lo local government together. They account together for 15% of our uh, student um, jobs. And then the four-year colleges are students who went to grad school and then also uh, K-12 to education, school teachers, uh, et cetera. And so the numbers here uh, tell you which one of the uh, our four major options will prepare you better for uh, the different uh, sectors uh, for future job opportunities. I also should mention that earth science professionals are paid very well. The black line is the national average income, 36,000. And uh, the earth science related fields all have higher uh, salaries than the national average. And if you have a bachelor's degree in earth and planetary science, this is a uh, median salary you will be making. Uh, so this is a rewarding, impactful, and well-paid um, job. So to summarize, Earth and the planetary sciences can put you on a career path that can make a world of difference. And the uh, EPS department in Rutgers is a good place to get you started. Uh, because we are a small department uh, with world-class faculty and a small student body, we love the outdoors, we love all sciences, but could not choose just one, so you get to do everything here. And we care about our planet, uh, its past and its future, and we are here to make a difference. And so we invite you to join us. And uh, so you can be a physicist, and a chemist, a biologist, a mathematician, computer science, and all of that, all at once. And you can save life by understanding natural disasters because earth scientists, the ones who predict earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, and landslides, etc. And you can reduce the impact of the humans on the environment by understanding their impacts so that we can put our planet on a more sustainable path. You can find resources that society needs, and you can explore solar systems and earth and life and following your, your own curiosity. Uh, meanwhile, you can secure a meaningful, rewarding, and well-paid job after graduation. While you are here, you can choose from four programs, depending on who you are, what you like. And then you are joining, you're joining a, a tight-knit community for the four very important years, very important career formative years in your life. And so uh, don't hesitate to email us and the address on the first page and visit our website. And thank you, and we really hope to see you in the hallways of our department.